So tonight I've decided that we would create the visual feast for you and that is to have all four of the girls in their basics and this is where we start. So when we get dressed in the morning, I, I mean, I, the first thing I do is I go, oh, I feel like wearing pants today, I'm going to wear those pants and I'm going to wear this slip because that's the right length with those pants. And then from there I pick my coloured shirt, I pick my knit, if it's, if it's cooler, I pick my jacket. So that, that's why I thought that it would be really good for you guys to see the way that we put things together. But we have our soft sit pant and this is where we have our fitted singlet. And I thought about it recently and I think it's a good point, is you do need a, a basic fitted singlet and a loose singlet because they have different functions. This is the beautiful rust but in the classic uh, mousseline tee. So a great piece for travelling, particularly if you're going to a summer destination. And we have it mixed with the, with the soft sit pant. So that's our first change for Robin. It's as simple as that. That's the shirt you were saying earlier that you liked with the cap sleeve. So we love a bit of a cap sleeve so we can just cover the tops of our arms. And it also creates balance in our um, body shape as well. So if you're a bit bigger through the hip, a little cap sleeve is fantastic for and your body And we've got some type. new stripes this season. Uh, they're just coming through. This is the Venetian stripe. Robbie's got it on in a different shape to me. I've got the looser drop sleeve fit. And this is the relaxed boat neck. So a really nice classic. Um, beautifully cut, nice and loose through the hip. Per falls perfectly. And we're going to pop on the, one of the crepe jackets. So it is winter, so we're going to show you exactly how to winterise your basics. And then we have our knit. So this is, our big scarf can be worn as a wrap, can be worn as, um, as a scarf. So in this case, we'll just pop it on as a scarf because it's going to give her a bit of warmth. So there we go. So Robbie's dressed. And not only does it give her warmth, it just adds that interest to her outfit. So you've put the little stripe in there so it gives a bit of a versatile um, difference to her look. And then you've got the jacket and the beautiful scarf over the top. So just all those little tiny layers, a little bit of accessorizing, accessorizing creates that fantastic interest in her wardrobe. She has her slip tank, the longer line looser fit tank, and she's got the solid knit. So a nice slim leg pant. It comes in two fabrications. We can do it in a crepe or it also comes in the solid knit, which is like a lighter weight ponty. It's got a really nice leg to it. It's not quite a legging, so you can dress it up, but it also can be tucked into a boot. So there we have the cutout shirt. These pants are a great alternative if you might find that the lighter weight jersey might be too light if you're travelling or you want to wear them for something a bit more dressy perhaps. These, this fabric is really lovely, it really holds everything together and it just looks like a classic tailored pant. Absolutely beautiful to wear as well. And very comfortable. So of course as part of the basics as we go through this and we're doing our packing scenario, we need a knit because it's something to keep us warm. So we've got our nighttime shirt, you can freeze at night, that's okay, we'll deal with that. <laughs> we've got a little crop jacket, this is the same one that uh, Lib Libby's wearing. So again, it's got the self stripe, it's the little um, true knit sweater in the computer stripe and this is in the vanilla. And here we have the little crop jacket. So again, we're using our layers to create interest. Each of these pieces is going to work on its own. We could do this without the knit if need be, but because it's winter, we've got this on and it's, she's beautifully dressed. And it's beautiful how you've used the different textures here. We were talking about textures early, so earlier, so that creates that fabulous interest in your outfit. And also just using tone on tone here. So the vanilla with the accru underneath gives you that warmth look. And also just that diff the layering pieces underneath the jacket, so the jumper showing through and the long line singlet showing through really accentuates that layering look. So when we talk about Louise's basics, um, Louise has the new newest version of the mousseline pant, which is the utility pant. So it's got the elastic, the elastic ankle and the little pocket detail. Um, they fall beautifully, can be worn with so many different shoes, dressed up or down. And here we have our Audrey tank again. So the two layers at the front, the nice inverted pleat and the, and the really soft v-neck. We're going to put her in the saddle and white stripe. Uh, which is the exact same top as what I've got on, except in this is the new stripe, which I absolutely love. And I think what's nice to see here is even though this is a saddle and white, it mixes beautifully back, back with our um, black. I'm gonna just do a little bit of a tuck. My blouse over, and there she goes. The other thing that looks is um, obvious to me here is that the two tops, so Kate's got the black and white, we've got the saddle and white here. You sort of need your stripes in all the colours, don't you? So it looks so different. It just gives a completely different look. Great top. So when you find your perfect top, buy it in all the different stripes so you've got different choices. Good choice. For all Good your choice. different farms. I love a stripe. For though. all your different farms. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Or stripes. Maybe we could have a yacht. A yacht shirt. A yacht farm. A yacht farm. <laughs> So 
So March's highlight colour is a beautiful rouge. And this is a new shape, it's called the Scoop Blouse. And I really think it's very elegant. It's got a nice little cuff sleeve. It's the little things when you look at something in Mila, you just think, oh, it's just a top. But when you look deeper at it, you see the details that she puts in. She's done a nice little detail in the sleeve, the little cuff. Um, and that's what, that, that's what really, you know, that's what you pay for. We've got a nice little necklace. And then we've got our favourite, um, or my favourite, biker jacket. So it's got a bit more weight, it's a little bit longer, it's a looser fit, um, but a really great piece. So there she's got her winter wardrobe. And you know I love talking about colour therapy, so as we go through the darker months of winter and it gets cold and a little bit gloomy, and we move away, I'm looking around here and there's some beautiful oranges in the audience, we move away from those colours in um, winter, so it's lovely to have a beautiful warm red tone in your cupboard to pull out, make you feel fantastic. It makes other people feel fantastic as well when you're around them because people get that lovely buzz when they see that beautiful colour. And obviously it also takes 10 years off you. So if you've got too much black, grab a couple of these fantastic colours because they're really flattering on the skin. And so Emma's basics are the mid-double skirt and the Audrey tank. So I think we've talked about the mid-double skirt tonight, but it's a beautiful knee length, also now coming in the pencil length as well. It holds you in, um, something that can be worn in summer and winter, opaques, uh, leggings underneath, it's really, really versatile. Um, Mila does beautiful shirts and this is just one of the shirts in the saddle. So we've tried to show you the different colours and how, how we can mix and match that within the basic section. Not everything has to be black and white. Um, It really is lovely to see the girls standing up here all together so we can see those core basics and how you really can just add a few pieces and change them into the most dramatic looking outfit. So um, Mila does it really well and Kate you've put it all together beautifully as well. But the detail that Mila has in her items is what really makes them fantastic to wear. So here we have the v-neck sweater, so I'd call this the most classic knit that's available this season in the black of v-neck, uh, very easy to throw on, it's a nice loose fit, she's got it here with the, with the skirt that falls nicely, uh, then we're going to pop on the cream, the cream jacket, which is the nice long line, so you're actually getting to see the four styles of crepe jackets here in front of each other, and then we have a print scarf because that's a bit of fun. And there you go. So there we go. There's four jackets. Um, she's got. We've got two mousseline pants, the classic and a highlight, a skirt, and a winter weight pant. We have two different knits, two different shirts, a stripe. So it's really about picking the ones that you like. But essentially, it's that top ten and being able to have those things that mix and match. And changing your accessories to alter your looks and make your look unique to your body shape and your lifestyle. And I think that the key thing here, Kate, are these jackets. They're absolutely beautiful to wear. And as I said before, they move. And just topping off your outfit like that makes it look absolutely fabulous and they look beautiful. So I think we're, we're done. And what a great reminder of how to use the basics you probably have in your wardrobe already to top with these things. Please thank our wonderful models tonight. Kate, you've done an extraordinary job putting all this together. Thank you very much for coming. Amanda. Wow, absolutely wonderful. Thank you.